this meeting. I have started the recording, in fact, already. Mm -hmm. So um, roll call quorum. So Susan Audet present. Jackie Gardner. Present. Deisha Baz. Yep, yep, here. And, okay. and Jamie Wagner. Present. Okay, all right. So I need to read the, the uh, language for holding a virtual meeting. Um, we have, there's a little bit of a new, new um, thing to read because the remote meeting permissions have been extended. So um, pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so um, by logging into, where's my, let's see, using webinar ID number um, 879-8741-3101. And there are no in-person attendance of members um, as this meeting is being conducted by remote means only. Okay. And um, so we need to elect a chair for this meeting only. So are there any nominations? So I would like to inquire um, what rules are we uh, pulling from to elect a temporary chair instead of a permanent chair? Is it simply citing precedent that you sent to us, Sue? Um, precedent for having a chair once the, it, so you're referring to the um, appointed committee handbook and that chairs are usually elected after the very, after they've all been appointed in July. Right, and since yep. we have a rotating type of a, a appointment, that seems to me contradictory. Actually, the rotating, it still always coincides with a July 1st appointment, though. So somebody... Go ahead. Yep, somebody will always be brand new in July 1st. Um, so it just makes sense to wait until after the, everyone's been appointed. You may have one new person and two older people. You may have two new people, one older, you know what I mean? But um, well, Jacqueline Gardner is the only other reappointment. I still have right. a term that's yes. left. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I, that's my that was my impression. I would I would say let's have a second a second meeting after this second. Let's have a subsequent meeting after this after everyone agrees to elect the permanent chair and knows what the chair does. Unless everyone's ready right now. I mean, I'm not ready. You're not ready. Okay. So I've you know I've read that the handbook, sure. the guide to the committees, and it is as I indicated. Um, a bit outdated. However, um, you know, it does have the, the chairs. And then I looked at the, um, the list of committees for the town and usually the staff person is not the chair. So I just wanna, you know, whether you're elected or not, uh, the only one I could see where that is different is Holly, who is the assistant comptroller. Um, so, and I, and there's no reasoning for that. Um, so I just, you know, I, I want us to think about that as we think about temporary chair, you know, this is not personal, but it has to do with procedures that are not very clearly outlined. They're outdated and they're not very clearly outlined for the board of registrars. And I would really, if anything that we do as a committee, that this is something that we take on uh, so that the next folks who are in these positions has some clearly defined procedures to follow. See, this is, this, this is part of the thing too, as far as like, there's nothing in those rules also that indicate you cannot have a rotating chair. It just says to have a chair. So again, these are things that we need to sit down and discuss, again, have that planning meeting to see how we're gonna do things because within the laws there's like some like there's some flexibility. And we're sort of like using the flexibility as far as I'm concerned on how this is being operated. I'd like to mention that um, since our last meeting, I have been working with IT and the website is now fully set up to um, have meetings, meeting minutes posted for the board of registrars. And I put them all on there yesterday. Right. So please feel free to read the past minutes 
such as they are, um, and what has happened. And I would say a half of those minutes included, I, I sent this email yesterday, um, election of a chair for that particular year. Uh, each year, there was an election of a chair after the appointment process was done and over with. Right, so. and not a temporary one. So I'm, right, I'm in right. agreement with that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say you can't not have a temporary chair. Yeah, it just makes no sense. Like every time we meet. I, no, I, I know it doesn't make any sense. But the law doesn't make sense. <laughs> I know, but yep. a lot of times the law doesn't make sense and it's something you just have to deal with it. And that's what we're doing. People doing make laws, it. people make policies, but that's a, obviously another conversation. Anyway, Correct. so I'd like for us to eventually sit and uh, try to more fully flesh this out and define it. Okay. So, okay. Um, I nominate um, Jamie Wagner as uh, the chair, the temporary chair. We have a second? I'll second it. Oh, 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 you will? Oh, okay, okay. Jackie seconded. it. Okay. Are there mm -hmm. any other nominations? No? Okay, so if so, we'll come to a vote on Jamie serving as chair for today's meeting. Roll call vote, um, Jackie Gardner. Uh, present. Or yes or no? And vote in yes in favor of okay. Jamie being the chair. <laughs> okay, thank you. And Dee, of course, you, you made the nomination, so you're yes. yes. Aye. Okay, and I vote yes. And Jamie, are you in favor? Yes, that's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. So we voted to elect Jamie for this uh, as chair for this meeting only. All right. So with that being done, um, we have next uh, public comments. So I don't sure I don't see any hands up, but I don't know if anybody um, that's in attendance would like. Up. Oh, okay. So Sean Rita Burke, would you let her speak? Yes. I think you're still muted, Rita. Uh, there you go. Are you there, Rita? I am here. Can you hear me? <clears throat> yep, that's all. Excuse me. Um, thank you for recognizing me. I realize that um, the voting rights issue that many of us have been working on um, with you all for the past few months is not on your agenda, but um, We've not heard anything regarding it. I, I realized that you had a, an executive session and there was no announcement made subsequent to that. Not that there has to be, but we have no information for weeks now as to where that stands. And I just wanted to make a public comment that we're all still here and uh, we are still very dedicated um, to this issue and continue to um, work on it and hope that the board is um, still working to resolve the voting rights issue um, regarding the court case and that something will be done as soon as possible, perhaps scheduling a referendum or by doing the consent decree. Um, regardless, I just wanted you all to know that you may have not heard from us, we have not heard from you, but we're all still here and very committed to this issue and, and certainly hope you all are as well. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Um, any, I don't see any other hands. I don't know if we wanna wait a second, just make sure. All right, with no, other hands going up, um, we'll move on to our approval of our minutes. So if you want to start with the May 24th meeting Let's minutes. Share the um, screen here. Let's see here. You know, who had mentioned that nobody has, we she hadn't received any um, um, amendments from us. But if you want to just take a minute to look at these minutes and then discuss so them. Uh, Madam Chair, I did have an amendment to the June 1st meetings, and I just didn't know if I should submit them over email or how I should submit the uh, amended edit. Um, I mean, at this point, I guess when we get to the, the June 1st minutes, is it, I mean, do you think it's something you should send to us in email or do you think you could get it across? Uh, your yeah, I could send it. 
I could send it in an email if that would uh, not violate anything. I guess we're in the meeting, so. It right. would. I guess uh, I'd have to refer back to Sue for that. Is it okay for Dee to send her minutes or should we just do it um, when we come to those minutes and have her just go over it with us and you make the changes live? I think, um, can you all hear me? Yeah, yep. okay. I, I share the screen first of all. Can you see the screen? I can, mm -hmm. yes. Perfect, okay. I think we'll do a live because then I'm gonna type it in live. As you can see it, I'll do it in red. Okay. That's all right. That way we've got, and then I'll save it and then I'll have one copy. All right, that works. Okay. That's good for you. That's kind of how we did it the last time. Okay, all right. So May 24th, if anybody has something they'd like to go over. There we go. Tell me when to move it along. I'm trying to take minutes too here. So uh, let's see. Okay. And I think that, that first, I mean, I'm down to, to bullet point three. I, I feel like those, at least for me, those first couple were pretty standard. standard kind of. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks good down to that area. I'm okay down to section four when anybody else is. I am too. I'm okay with these minutes all the way through. For point three or every, everything? I'm good with everything to the okay. adjournment. Okay. And I'm pretty much okay with everything as is. Yeah, I had no problem with the first set of minutes. Right. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the May 24th meeting um, as presented. So we have to make a, a motion. So I move that we approve um, the minutes for May 24th for Board of Registrars. I'll second that. Um, so we'll vote now. Um, I don't know if you could second it, Jamie, as the chair. As the chair. Yeah, I'll second it. I'll second it, okay? I'll, right. I'll second it. Okay. So seconded so by Jack. Uh -huh. okay. We'll do a vote now um, to add that. Yes. 
Jacqueline Gardner. I'm yes, I'm yes too. Shabazz. Yeah. Yes. All right. Amy Wagner, yes. So that being said, we'll put the um, minutes from May 24th on file and she will take care of them there. We'll move on to June 1st. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the draft has been finalized. Yeah. So I don't know if we wanted to, I know Dee, this was the minutes you had some revision. Yeah, it's, so at the, we, it's at the very end. So if you all okay. want to go through it, so it's at the last paragraph. All right, sounds good. So do you want me to go to the end? Time to go Are you talking about I'm going to go through, I haven't gone through them yet. So I'm just going to read. I have my copy though, so I can read off my hard copy. Okay. But to go through from the beginning. I'm good whenever everybody else is heard to hear these um, mm -hmm. amendments. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, so um, am I able to share, Sue? Maybe that would just be easier because I, I, I did a suggestion on how to rewrite it to reflect. Um, the point of contention here is where it says Attorney Carball responded that he can add such a statement, which was actually a response to Jamie suggesting um, that as a remedy, we do training, okay, within the AG's document that was to be sent, all right? So it just kind of a lot is compressed there. Uh, to add such a statement within the conclusion of the response, member Gardner responded that everyone should be responsible for reading the open meeting law guide so she doesn't feel additional training is necessary. So this response is, and my agreement, is not um, exactly correct. So is there a way to share here? Uh, it's at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. You're a Make panelist. Sure. I don't know if you can share. Um, you know what? Yeah, Go ahead. No, I can. Oh, you can. Very good. Yeah. So this is, um, that's a note for me here, but it's a date on trainings, but here is we're still seeing you oh really yeah i saw your thing pop up but then you came back up uh, i see both i can you see yeah, both Hold oh, on. I, can oh see I see that. it uh, i see the I see letter it. in the middle and yeah i got it yeah. the side. i've got it all right so this was at when you look at the video it's time code 228 
And um, basically my explanation, I don't know, maybe I can. Um, it's, it's responding to the statement, member Gardner responded that everyone should be responsible for reading. Okay, and then it says member Shabazz agreed. Um, actually, member Shabazz agreed that the paragraph should not be altered and it should probably be more specific. The paragraph in the AG's letter should not be altered as suggested by Jamie Wagner because it's misleading to suggest that as a remedy, training in open meeting law procedures uh, for the board of registrars will occur if this is not the intent. So when you go back to the minutes, uh, we, there was some discussion and deliberation about that. So I think it's misleading actually here to just say member Shabazz agreed because I wasn't necessarily agreeing to Gardner's statement. And Understood. that's I'm what gonna, it reads as. I'm going to... Um... So I could send that to you or you could rewrite it yourself or. No, I'm going to. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Oh, okay, well, let me stop sharing. So uh, you wanna well, put it back up? Change it, I'd like to see the meeting. I'd like to go back and review the meeting, the comments in the meeting. I can't see your edit to, it's back. Um, I don't know if you need to share again, because NCD took hers down, but I, I'm not seeing yours now. Oh, okay, hold on. It's not there anymore. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yep, I got it back now. Okay. So I typed it in red. What D had put in for mm -hmm. under edit, I typed it in. Yep. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm off chair. <laughs> I was going to ask Jackie about listening to it again. No, I, it's on. It's on the screen. But like I said, I'd rather see the um, the um, actual quotation because sometimes people can revise things. Is this is what I meant? But what you meant and what you said are two different things. And I'd like to actually see what was said. Well, you're welcome to do that. It's not uh, editing your statement, Jackie. I it's editing that. my statement. I so I understand that. I I actually, as usual, I was very verbose, and mm -hmm. um, I said I would appreciate more trainings instead of less um, protecting mm -hmm. the vote and transparency. Unless we're going to incorporate trainings as a remedy and make it ongoing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. no, I got it. But again, as I said, I hey, you're to welcome to do it. Well, then right. I move that we uh, table then, Madam Chair, the uh, minutes for June first. Until well, actually, actually, what you could do June first. This is due to on the twenty fourth, isn't it? Isn't all this stuff supposed to be done in, on the twenty fourth? The first set. So those are approved. Those are done. Okay, but this set, when is this set due? It's 30 days. Okay, 30 days from, let's see. So basically, July 1st. Did they just calendar days? July 1st. Well, yeah, or... we'd have to count exactly, but 
Um, yeah, yeah. So it'd be like July first. Is it possible for you to go on and look at it right now and listen to it? Do you have that ability, like to use another device? Do it live? Um, I suppose I could. <sighs> I mean, it, it's eleven o'clock, so. Uh. Just throwing that out there so that we mm -hmm, can get it done. Mm -hmm. I'm just sort of like re reading it and thinking. Because mm -hmm. it would take a while to find all that stuff. Um, Oh, I gave you the time code. Time code is 228. And you're assuming that I have the technology to do this, right? Because okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't want to put you on the spot. I just thought if you could do it, if you could do it right now, I'd just listen to it for a couple of minutes if you could find it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry no. about that. Okay, that's okay. I'm sorry about that. Well, can we move forward and then come back to this? All right. Did you was that the only amendment you had, D, that you wanted to make, or was there anything else beyond that? Well, I guess I I'll just table that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't. It was to simply try to move through this and give mm -hmm. Jackie uh, Gardner. Uh, some opportunity to go to time code 228 for the June 1st meeting, and we could put the table of this and put it into the next meeting. But whatever y'all want to do. Well, um, like I said, there's a time limit as far as um, you know, when this is going to be done. So are you suggesting um, a, a meeting time for um, another meeting for this? So I have the, um, the transcript. Would you like for me mm -hmm. to send you the transcript, everyone? Yeah, you can do that if you, yeah. But okay. I just would have to verify it, but yeah, but you could send it. Okay. I don't, you know what, Jackie, because because it well, sounds like you have an issue with the trust here. Why don't you well, go to the well, YouTube let's, and let's, go let's to Time Code 228 please. And there's a way in I, which I, I, you can don't actually worry, don't worry, don't worry I, about it. And no, no, I can send you instructions. Don't don't talk about trust. Okay. No, no, I can send you I instructions. On I can send you instructions. Thank you. I don't need your instructions. Oh, okay, Thank you. great. All right. Just wanted to make sure it's trying to be helpful. Is there do you have if you have the transcript B, can you share it on the screen again? Most, that most certainly. Most certainly. We can look at, That's at what it. I asked her if she would do. And then she's talking about some issues of trust. Don't go down that road. Okay. What's up there, Dee? So this is June 1st, as you can see. Okay. So the problem is, Jackie, is that you would have to watch the video on I YouTube know. along with this in order to uh, determine who is speaking. I know. Oh, okay. Oh. So what I did was do a search, so you could see, for guide as a keyword. I'll tell you what, I'll look it up on my own because I don't like being talked down to as far as, well, you can do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I also have my own way that. of doing things too. Oh, and I already okay. Asked if we could I was just trying to be helpful. Time. I'm sorry. I was just trying to be helpful.
So 228, did I say? Yes. Yeah. All right. So can you all see this? Yes, I can see it. Exactly, I think is when, Jamie, you're speaking. Oh, I'm trying to enlarge the view here. Oh, wrong. Yeah. Okay, yeah. can you all see that? Yep. Can always tell when Greg's talking, Madam Chair, through you. Right. <laughs> So I believe this is you here, Jackie, somewhere. Oh, what did I just say? I'm sorry, what did I do? You didn't do anything. I said I'd like to read it and, and explore oh, no, it. And I was just, now and oh, okay, I won't address forward. you at all. I'm sorry, I was just trying to uh, make sure we saw who was speaking. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> when are we thinking if we did table it so we could have Jackie um, pull that up and look? When do you guys want to try? It would probably be a pretty brief meeting. Yeah, it would be. It would be, it would be something to, brief. To meet again. Um, I mean, it, obviously, we'd have to still follow meeting procedures as far as posting and stuff. So we'd right. need the 48 hours and stuff like that. Um, oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So okay. it is what it is. Okay. 28th, 29th. Any day. Yeah, I'm pretty D, you're on schedule as far as teaching you teaching in the evening. Is there like a yeah. so a what window? day are you suggesting? I'm sorry. It's your model, Jamie. You're oh, the, sorry. The I think Sue's thinking maybe like Monday or Tuesday of this next week. Um so we can meet the 48 hour meeting postings and all that stuff. Okay, yeah. so that would be the 28th of the 29th? Yep. Okay. The only That's time I night. cannot do on the 29th, I have a, a 10 o'clock staff meeting for an hour. But other than that, I'm open both those days. All right, so uh, the 29th is not good for me. I have, besides teaching in the evening, another something. So the 28th, however, before uh, 2.30 works. All right. Jackie, is there any time that, that Monday that's, is better or worse for you? That, that's fine. Any, any, okay. any day is fine. All right. Between now and the first. So I guess it's, I'm good. I'm here. Okay. Monday so. the 28th, um, I can set mm -hmm. it for... 11 o'clock? How's that sound? Okay. Sounds good. Good? Okay. okay. All right. So we need to make a motion to table these minutes. Um, I don't know if somebody else so you want me to so restate much. my motion? I think so. I think. Now, Sue, as far as these edits, can you leave them in there as part of the draft so they're just there? Yes. So we still have them for Monday and then... Um, well, I'll, I'm going to go back and look. So D, as far as looking up, you just go on YouTube and search for the, I've never actually done that for watching the, the actual videos. You just go onto YouTube and type it in and it's there. It's, it's right there, Jamie, right on the top of the meeting minutes. Um, right. right. First thing, see a complete video yep. um, available. <laughs> I just do that now. <laughs> and then it right, and then so it brings you to YouTube. Yeah, then it brings you to YouTube. Okay. The the key to looking at the transcript, which is helpful instead of just listening, could see the words side by side, right. is if you go to the left hand corner of the the actual um, video box area. There's three little dots, and you yep. click in the three little dots, and it's going to show transcript, and then it'll okay. pop up to the right side. All right. Perfect. So okay. we'll do that and 
pay attention to that 228 timestamp and then we'll just reconvene with these ones on. So we'll leave your edits in there for Monday B and then if somebody wants to make a motion to table those minutes until that next meeting and then we can move on. Can I make the motion? I, I'm not hearing anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I move uh, that we table the minutes for June 1st until another meeting on Monday, June 28th. Right. And second? Uh, I'll second. Okay. All right. And now we'll do a, a vote um, to Adat. Yes. All right. Jackie Gardner? Yes. D. Shabazz? Yes. And Jamie Wagner, yes. So we'll put the June 1st minutes on the table and we'll revisit those on Monday. Um, so now if we move to the June 14th meeting minutes, um, I've gone through these and I'm okay with them. So I don't know if, if anybody else needs more time to review them or if they have any changes they want to put forth. Yeah, I have no objection to these meetings, the minutes. Okay. I'm all set with them. I'm, I'm all set. So, this do we want to make a motion to approve them? Can I everybody see it? them? Everybody, see, you don't even need to. They're short. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's right. So, so I move uh, that we accept the minutes for June fourteenth. Uh, okay. And a second. I'll second. I'll second. June fourteenth is fine. Who's seconding? Oh, Jackie. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then so we'll do a vote um, to our debt. Yes. Jackie Gardner. I'm in favor, yes. All right, B. Shabazz. Yes. All right, and Jamie Wagner, yes. So the minutes of June 14th are accepted as presented. Um, with that being done, I don't know if anybody has any unanticipated topics that they'd like to discuss. I do. Um, so normally, you know, we could be meeting ad infinitum on minutes because today's minutes now will be, they could be voted on on the 28th, but then you got the minutes of the meeting from the 28th. So, so normally what's done, there's a couple of things that are done. Um, you can allocate the chair permission to vote the minutes right live during, you know, at the end of that meeting. That way that meeting's minutes are done. So there's no reason to meet further. Um, that's one way of handling it. What's the other way? That's pretty much it. Um, because you know what I'm saying? There's always going to be minutes. Every time we meet, there's minutes. And if you have to keep meeting to approve minutes, you never stop meeting. So I'm in favor of that. I mean, as, as far as voting for them live, like on a meeting that like we anticipate the Monday meeting being probably fairly brief. So I don't, I, you know, we could vote for those minutes. I would think that in certain cases where there's minutes that might be a little more involved, that maybe those need kind of time to look over in case there's just more information. But like I said, I'm okay with doing it live, you know, if there's not something that needs to be thought about um, or talked about further. So Sue, I just want to make sure I understand what you're suggesting. You're saying that, um, so for the next, for meetings that, for, for me, meeting minutes that um, lack complication, let's say, or it was a short meeting, mm -hmm. that we vote um, on the next meeting, those minutes live from the very, the, the most immediate previous meeting. Is that correct? What you're saying is confusing me. So say, so say today's, say we're not meeting again for anything. Say we have no purpose to meet again, but we've meeting today. We've finalized all our previous meetings minutes. We still have today's minutes to do. And so then if we did not approve today's minutes today, then we'd have to meet again to, to approve today's minutes, which means you're continuously meeting to approve minutes. I know it's a different way of wording it. Um, but, you know, like when I was serving on the Ranked Choice Voting Commission, our very last meeting, we had finalized our recommendation. We were done meeting, but then there's always that last meeting that you're going to have minutes for. So you can't, you know, when the group was uh, dis disbanded or whatever the word is, finalized, closed, um, how do those last set of minutes get approved? So the way it's handled is that permissions given to the chair to approve the minutes 
that right. result from that last meeting. Pretty Without much. reading them? Thank you. No, the chair would read them, but the chair would have the, the permissions by the other members to approve the minutes. No. And you could read them, if, you know, and you could, there's multiple ways to handle it. You could read it at the end. So the whole person who's taking the minutes could say, this is what I have for minutes. And the chair and everybody can say, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's approve it. And then they get typed up and that's the end of it. Okay, so whether, yeah, so whether live or, well, in person or remote, mm -hmm. we would get to see that draft typed up. Is that what you're suggesting? It's not going to be typed up, though. It's just going to be, it's going to be read as this, this is what I have in the minutes. It wouldn't be typed. Because, to, I mean, you can see, yeah, this is every single board and committee has to go through this when they end, when they're done, they're, they're reason for being is over. There's always that last set of minutes is how do you, what do you do with those? You're not meeting anymore. How do they get approved? So you approve them at the last meeting. Oh, I, I get it. But our reason for being is over. Is that uh, a statement or a question? It's a statement. Right now we're, we've met a lot. We never meet like this. So you'll see when you look online, the posted minutes of past meetings, as I said in my email, the Board of Registrars has met like once a year, uh -huh. uh, you know, half the time that I've been in this office. So yeah. once a year. So because of the new open meeting law guidelines, uh -huh. we have to approve minutes within a timely manner. So if we're only meeting once a, a year in normal times, uh -huh. how do those minutes get approved if we're not meeting again? That's, that's the issue we're facing. Yeah, and it, it sounds like to me that just folks weren't, I don't know, involved or paying attention or something. But with that said, um, I think, you know, had we not had, I mean, I saw what you, you presented about how many meetings we have. I don't know if that wants to discourage me or what, but... Um, oh, no, just to show you what's yeah, the history. I, I, history. I, I saw it, I saw it, and... Um, you know, we could go back to that April 21st, that could have been resolved and we wouldn't have met, you know, so many times had we just, you know, redid that. But being as it, as it is, we continue to meet to resolve that. So I think this was um, an exceptional circumstance. Uh, and I hear what you're saying about, you know, the, the board minutes. But I would rather, you know, procedurally have some clarity, what was said, what is written up, and what is going into the permanent record on any board I'm sitting on. Oh, I'm not saying we don't do that. You're not hearing no. me. Yeah, I'm saying, how do we handle our last meeting minutes? If we, if we don't foresee another meeting happening, if there's no reason to meet for a while, mm -hmm. okay, if it's normal times, Say we meet for setting the elect, you know, whatever the board normally meets on. Mm -hmm. We're only going to meet a very uh, minimal number of times in a year. And because of the new open meeting law guidelines, we have to approve minutes in a timely fashion. Right. Is there a way to do this to um, even if it's, uh, I guess we can't do it online through email because then that's considered uh, open meeting law violation deliberation. Right. right. Um, I mean, I would even consider looking, you know, at a draft that would, um, you know, if it's simply to approve minutes, uh, a draft that is typed then in some form or fashion for us to approve. Right. This is what I want to talk about. How do we want to handle our last set of minutes if we know we're not meeting for a while? So that's my suggestion, that even yeah. if it is considered a draft, that we are able to see, um, you know, the flow of conversation, what was said, uh, votes, et cetera. Uh, we understand it's a draft, but this is what I'm approving. But can't we just have it like we, where you have like the draft and then like the, this, the, um, what, and then like this, the sections in red or either add uh, an amendment in, in, indicating what is being amended on it and approve, approve the, um, 
the draft and the amendment. So and, I can you know, see this and, sync them and, sync and put them together. So what I could do is have a, a template, you know, meeting minute approval, you know, the usual opening the meeting mm -hmm. at this time, public comment, if there is any, um, you know, our headings, and we can type it live, I suppose. We could do that. I could share my screen after we've gone through the approval of the minutes process. We could work on that current meeting live. That would I work. I appreciate that. that yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody else good with that? Yeah, that will work. Okay. Yep. That. Topics not anticipated. Let me get that down because how to approve the last set of minutes when you're not meeting for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Chair, Madam Chair, I would like to discuss, however, it, you know, because it sounds like we're, we're trying to have some closure in terms of uh, the meetings. Um, if there's a possibility of, you know, whether it's all of us together or it's, um, you know, I don't know within the town uh, if there's like a, a group of people that provide some discussion around um, procedures, uh, something. But I really feel strongly as someone sitting on this committee um, that, you know, the vote and transparency is something worth protecting. And therefore, we need to have uh, more defined procedures uh, for the Board of Registrars. Mm -hmm. but that's what I've been indicating all the while when I was talking about procedures. These are the types of things that we really need to work them out as far as like how we're going to proceed and do things because like the closure of the, the meetings for um, if you're not going to have another meeting for quite a while, things like that. And, and then as far as like how do we propose meetings? You know, when something is, so, so to say is during a slow time, but something might pop up as far as like to be able to, to disclose that. Um, also, as far as like the new chair, what kind of access are they going to have like uh, to some of the, the um, things that happen in the town clerk's office that may or may not be relevant to what, how, we, how we operate? So, you know, is, you know, whether or not there's like a lack of a better word, like of a liaison between the town clerk's office and us. I don't know if that makes any sense. Because I know you get stuff in and you probably just go ahead and do it because it's part of your job, a sue that I'm referring to. Well, the town clerk is normally the liaison because the town clerk is a yeah. member of the board of registrar. So in the mm -hmm. past, mm -hmm. all those minutes, the way the town clerk's been identified too is clerk of the of the board of registrars. That's the title mm -hmm. I noticed. Uh -huh. Um uh -huh. but but I just Tom, yeah, to, we've yeah, I, yeah, I'm sorry. So no, which that's is, which is no, I just wanted to make, I just had, wanted to make go ahead. Sure. Huh? No, I no. The only thing is, just, I just wanted to make sure that we're all like getting the same kind of information, whether or not your role or whatever, not being the chair or whatever, how is that going to change and how is that going to be beneficial to us? Because there's a lot of things that you do clerically. Well, anyway, I'm not, I don't, I, I, I think that these are things that need to be discussed at a later time and not necessarily during this meeting. Oh, definitely. And we've brought this up about three times, I think now. Um, I'm working on an onboarding process for the board of registrars. I'm putting mm -hmm. together a packet of materials that when somebody's newly appointed, um, mm -hmm. and I'll give it to everybody, obviously, but um, going mm -hmm. through the whole, this is what you, is, these are the procedures, uh, or this is your involvement, this is, this is what normally happens. Um, so mm -hmm. we can start from that point and then go from there and talk about and I how it can be tweaked. That. I appreciate that, Sue, because it's, you know, we don't have that history. However, just in looking at the, um, the appointed committee handbook and the charter, there's, there's very little about the board of registrars and how right. it should convene. And what I'm proposing you know, again, that's a great place to start. So I do appreciate that. But what I'm proposing is an actual meeting where we have uh, some type of um, uh, organizational structure discussion with some guidance that is not led by, um, you know, KP law, 
you know, necessarily. Um, but some guidance on um, organizational structure and training, because I've looked at those documents and in my search, it's, it's all very loosey goosey. It's based on other committees. I mean, even with, with you saying that you're the liaison, there's, there's actual definition on the roles and responsibilities of the liaison to the town council, which is different than an employee appointee. So, you know, I think it needs definition and, and not for the sake of us necessarily, because, you know, there's, there's lacking clarity most certainly, but for the people. And, you know, we're representing the voters, we're representing the residents, and that's the clarity that's needed because what you don't want is the crisis that occurred a few weeks ago where your residents and your voters feel there's no transparency and don't have trust in the government and the board of registrars. And I'd like to, you know, circumvent that and make sure it doesn't happen again. Absolutely. And I, I agree. And uh, the board of registrars is also, it's not just a town appointed committee. It falls under a state. We're the only committee exactly. in this town. So that's actually where our guidelines start. So that, that was part of my, that was part of my onboarding was to get that material and um, come up with some kind of a, a agreement as to, you know, because as you know, in most cities and towns, the board does not do the certification of signatures. The board does not do all the clerical functions that the town clerk's office does. Um, and Absolutely. I know I'm part of the mass Google group for town clerks and the boards are not in the offices. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I think it's the state that sets the guidelines, um, uh, uh, you know, the state that puts them out there, but then you end up suiting those guidelines to your particular needs in the office because every absolutely. office is, right, absolutely right. Sue. And I think this again comes to the point um, about what the charter says, as opposed to what the state says for our role. And because that lacks clarity, that then begins to erode and undermine how the residents view the voting uh, process here in the town. And, you know, if, if we're, what are we doing? <laughs> you know, not only is there confusion, but then what's our purpose? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we should, we should meet on that for sure. Um, but I, so again, Sue, what I, what I would request, and I can make this request to the town council um, and to the town manager, is that we have some type of organizational guidance uh, with some knowledge uh, to help us within this conversation. I do not feel this is a conversation, me nor, you know, as wonderful as, as we are and as knowledgeable as we are should facilitate. This should be a facilitated uh, conversation around um, organizational guidelines, looking at those particular documents together. So you were talking about like the, you know, this stuff kind of happening after the July appointment. Should we try to book a meeting like sometime in July or when does those typically happen, the appointments where we would then um, elect the permanent chair and kind of go over all this stuff and kind of yeah, set ourselves up yeah, going yeah. forward. Anytime that works for everybody um, in Is July or in July, like a deadline or something that that all happens by, and then you kind of start your new year fresh after that? Not really. It's just whenever the board can meet. Um, yeah, the dates have been all over the place, I think, for the minutes in the past. I think it's just really what, what's available. I can tell you I'm on vacation. I'm, I'm not here the week of the 19th. So that whole week is out. Um, and it also, we really should wait until the letters are, until that process is done. Um, I know the town manager has started it. So um, I think when letters are in hand, then I can contact everyone and say, okay, we're good to start. Yeah. That was the I thing that I was gonna say, at least you can uh, wait until the assignments and appointments have been completed. Yes. Yep. And who knows, a new person coming on board might have a totally different uh, uh, concept. Mm -hmm. 
Well, so Jamie's been reappointed. I have until the, the uh, 22nd. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So Jacqueline, you're the only reappointment unless there's another position. No. Well, exactly. Uh -huh. So you're saying I have no value? No, I mean, you're talking about the the new person and reappointment. No, until I get a letter in my hand saying I've been reappointment. No, I'm I'm still up okay. in the air. Okay. As far as right. I'm concerned, I, I might not get renewed. Who knows? <laughs> Nothing in life is guaranteed. It's you know, not over until the run. fat lady sings or something like that. Right. It ain't over. <laughs> That's why I don't want to do too much planning in the future. <laughs> So yeah, we wait till the letters are in hand. Then we say, okay, now we've got our, we know who's here and now we can move forward mm -hmm. with our electing of mm -hmm. a permanent chair talking about, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It'll right. be a little embarrassing showing up without my reappointment letter. <laughs> so then Sue, you'll just get to us when, I mean, you obviously know when everybody has yeah. their letters. So then we can try to look forward to that for the end of July, maybe. And get Sounds that, good. Start working on that. Yeah. All right. So, is that all you had, or is there any any more unanticipated business? No. Nope. So, with that being said, would somebody like to make a motion to adjourn until we meet again on Monday? So okay. yeah, I move to adjourn. All right. I'll second. second. Okay. All right. So we'll vote to adapt. Yes. Jacqueline Gardner. Yes, we can adjourn. Yes. Yep. Yes, and Jamie Wagner, yes, adjourn. So we will see everybody here again on Monday at 11. Monday at 11. Monday at 11. All right. All right, see day. you all then. You too, have a good day, everybody. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Sean. Anytime. <laughs> okay.